Hello, this is lesson five, and the topic is binary operations. Your tutor is Asset He Stool. A binary operation is an operation that applies to two numbers, quantities, or expressions. For example, plus, minus, multiplication, and division are binary operations. The operation plus and multiplication are commutative because the order does not matter. For example, 3 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8. And 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 15. So it doesn't matter if you add the 5 first and add the 3 secondly, or the other way around. Same thing with multiplication. If you multiply 3 by 5, it is the same as multiplying 5 by 3. And the answer is 15. The operations are also associative because no matter where you put the brackets, the answer is always the same. Example, 3 plus 5 in brackets plus 6 is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 6 in brackets. And also 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6. In the first example, it's 3 multiplied by 5 in brackets, then multiply by 6, and it's supposed to equal to 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6 in brackets. So if we do the brackets first, it's 3 5 15 times 6. And if we do what is in the brackets over here, 5 6 is 30. And if we multiply 15 by 6, we will get 90. And if we multiply 3 by 30, we also get 90. So the way in which we put in the brackets doesn't matter, and this is called the associative property. Some operations are not commutative or associative. An, as, an operation asterisk is defined by a asterisk b is equal to 2a plus b. You're asked to find 1, 3 asterisk 5, 2, 5 asterisk 3, and number 3 is asterisk commutative. Let's look on that. We know that A asterisk B is equal to 2A plus B. So 3 asterisk 5 is equal, we're going to replace the A with 3, so it's 2 times 3 plus B, which is 5. And the answer there is 2, 3, 6 plus 5, and the final answer, 6 plus 5 is 11. That's number 1. Number 2 is 5 asterisk 3. In this case, we multiply the 2 by 5 and add the second term, which is 3. 2 5 is 10 plus 3. And the answer is 13. So part 1 is 11. Part 2 is 13. So 3 asterisk 5. And they ask you, is asterisk commutative? In this case, it is not because 3 asterisk 5 is not equal to 5 asterisk. Three. So, uh, asterisk is not commutative. Let's look on this example. Find 1, 3, asterisk 5, asterisk 6. And we're going to look on that first of all. 3, asterisk 5, we already found out that that is 11. So, we're going to do 11 asterisk 6 
And then 11 asterisk 6 is going to be 2 times 11 plus 6. 2 times 11 is 22 plus 6. 22 plus 6 is 28. And then we have the second one now is 3 asterisk and in brackets we have 5 asterisk 6. So we have to work what is in the bracket first. In delegate problems with brackets, we must work what is in the brackets first. 5 asterisk 6, we haven't worked that before, so we have to work this one first. So it's going to be 2 times 5 plus 6. 2 times the first and you add the 6. So it's 3 asterisk 2, 5, 10 plus 16 plus, 10, plus 6 is 16. And 3 asterisk, that will be 2 times 3 plus 16. 2, 3 is 6 plus 16, and that is 22. So part 3 as is asterisk associative. 3 asterisk 5 asterisk 6 is not equal to 3 asterisk 5 asterisk 6 because we get two different answers one is 28 and the other is 22 so the so asterisk is not associated some examples Given a asterisk b is equal to a square plus 4b, find a part 1, 2 asterisk 1, part 2, 1 asterisk 2, part 3, 6 asterisk Four and part four, four asterisk six and part B of the question is the operation asterisk commutative. We look on part A one. We know that a asterisk b is equal to a square plus 4b. So when they ask you for 2 asterisk 1, the first term must be square. So instead of the a square, it becomes 2 square plus 4 times b. And b in this case is 1. So it's equal to 4 plus 2 square is 4 and 4 1 is 4. So the answer is 8. Part 2. 1 asterisk 2. 1 asterisk 2 is equal to the... A is now 1, so it's 1 square plus 4 times 2. 1 square is 1, and 4 twos is 8. So this will give us 9. 1 plus 8 is 9. And then... We have number three is six asterisk four. So in this case, it's going to be six square plus four times four. And it will give us six square is thirty six, and four multiplied by four is sixteen. So that's when we will give us. 16 plus that is 16 plus 36 is 52. And the fourth one is 4 asterisk 6. So it's 4 square plus 4 times 6. 4 square is 16 plus 4 6 is 24. And 16 plus 24 is 40. And Part B asks us the question is asterisk commutative? No, because 2 asterisk 1 is not equal to 1 asterisk 2. And 4 asterisk 6 
is not equal to 6 asterisk 4. Because in both cases, we get two different answers. For the first one, we get 8 and 9. And for the second set, we get 52 and 40. So they are not equal. So therefore, therefore, asterisk is not commutative. If a asterisk b is equal to a minus b all square, calculate, calculate a part 1, 2 asterisk 5, part 2, 5 asterisk 2, and 3, 2 asterisk 5, asterisk 4, and part B is asterisk commutative. Number 2, an operation asterisk is defined by p square plus q square find a part one two asterisk three part two three asterisk two part three three asterisk four Part 4, 2 asterisk 3 in brackets, asterisk 4. And part B, part 1, is asterisk commutative. And part 2 is asterisk. associated. And number three, the operation asterisk is defined by x asterisk y is equal to x squared minus y square minus xy find one four asterisk five r two five asterisk four and part three in brackets four asterisk five asterisk three that's your assignment for next class. We'll do the solution at the next at the beginning of the next class.